Hello, good morning students. Today I am going to teach you Standard 7, Subject English, Grammar Chapter 4, Affixes. Now students, the word itself, affixes, what it shows, it shows a fix. The word in the middle of this word is a fix. It means to fix a proper word before the word and after the words. This affix is divided into two parts that is prefix and suffix. Now first let us study about prefix. What is prefix? So students a prefix is a syllable or a part of a word in English grammar a prefix is a set of letters which we add before the main word to make a new word so that it can change the meaning of the word. Some example word of prefix are un, non, dis, re, sub, etc. Now we are going to use that examples which we can use this prefixes. Some examples are the word happy. Now to make this word and to use prefix for this word we are going to use un that is un. So a new word will become unhappy. So it is changing the meaning of happy. It becomes unhappy. For example sentence I am happy and the sentence with prefix will become I am unhappy. Okay. Let us go through one more example. A word is possible. If we add the prefix word im, that is I am, we'll get a new word impossible. It is changing the meaning of the word possible. It becomes impossible. Now, if we use in the sentence, example, it didn't seem possible. The word after using the prefix will become it didn't seem impossible. So what we have added? We have added here im to make it a prefix word. Now let me give you more example to use the word prefix. Our first word is antidote. So we are going to add the prefix word anti to the word dote. So it will become as against or opposed to. Next we are going to add co for the word worker. It will become as co-worker which means with. Next word is agree. So after adding a prefix word this it will become as disagree. It means opposite of. Our next word is legal. We are going to add the prefix word ill. So new word will get it as illegal. It means not. Next word is understand. If we are adding the prefix word miss, we are going to get a new word that is misunderstand. It means wrongly. Like this many more examples I have given here. You can just go through it. Okay, now we are going to study about suffixes. What is a suffixes? Here, a suffix is a syllable or a part of a word or a word itself that is placed at the end of a word. In prefix, what we have studied that we are going to place the prefix word at the starting of a word. But here in the suffix, we are going to place at the end of a word. Okay, so don't get confused. So, in English grammar, a suffix is a set of letters which we add at the end of the main word to make a new word. So that it can change to fit grammatically within the sentence. Example of the word suffix which we can use is ed, n, less, full, ing, etc. All this word we are going to place after the word that is at the end of the word. Let us have a look on examples. So here I have taken the word talk. Okay, T-A-L-K, talk. And 
if i add the word suffix that is ed ed over here i will get a new word that is talked right t a l k e d so it will become a suffix word now we'll see it in the sentence our first sentence is she wants to talk to you now after adding the suffix in the sentence a sentence will become like this she barely talked to me so here we have added ed to the word talk now here in this picture i have given you many other examples of suffix word as well as the suffix word which we can add it in the word our first word is comfort so i have added the suffix word able at the end of a word comfort so it has become comfortable the meaning of the word is can be done our next word is person so if i add the suffix al that is al at the end of this word it will become as personal now the next word is travel so if i add ed as suffix at the end of this word it will become as traveled it means the past tense now there are many more examples i have given in this table you can go through it thank you